At the hour of reckoning, the embattled Kericha governor, Paul Chepkwonyi, was a drowning man clutching onto straws. For the last one year, there are no officers that you submitted to your approval in this honorable house. Is there any office? But the members of his county assembly had their sharpest daggers drawn and pushed their agenda relentlessly. The motion to impeach Chepkwonyi was tabled by nominated MCA Albert Kipkoech. The county assembly listed five grounds for Chepkwonyi's impeachment, including allegedly flouting procurement laws and abuse of office. When it came down to the big vote, all 32 MCAs present voted unanimously to kick out the governor. The rest of the 15 MCAs who have been against Chepkwonyi's impeachment boycotted the debate. Chepkwonyi joins a growing list of county bosses under threat to be stripped of the title governor. Embu Governor Martin Wambora has been impeached twice. Kericho has now joined that league. Nyeri MCAs have threatened to impeach their governor, Nderitu Gashagwa. Tana River, Elgeo Maraquet, Kiambu, and Baringo County bosses have also faced similar threats. And that's not the end of governor's wars. Meru, Garissa, and Nairobi governors all have pending cases at the Supreme Court concerning the nullification of their election. The CIC chairperson, Charles Nyachai, has decried the rate at which governors are being impeached. Looking back on it with the benefit of hindsight, I am not convinced that the process that we put in the County Governments Act uh, ensures that there is a fair and objective process of establishing that the grounds that are set out in the Constitution to form the basis of impeachment, that they are actually, uh, 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 the, the threshold is actually arrived at. All this, while more County Assembly members continue to grow bolder and ready to flex their muscles. And so Kenyans ask, who is next? Asham Wilu, KTN.